Call hello, you have a bashim yah bashai, bashim rakah kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone over well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace, mercy, and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters, students, wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Um, oh, it's Shabbat Shalom as well. Uh, coming back at you with another quick one because TikTok just keeps presenting us with wonderful things, wonderful backdrops, wonderful pieces of information for edification. So this is just be really quick, um, you know, if the spirit allows. But I want to let this play and then bring some things to your attention. Uh, it was something that I was thinking about as I was uh, laying in bed this morning. And I couldn't sleep, but I just started thinking about these things. I'll let this video play and I'll share my thoughts very briefly because it ain't about me. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? Nobody trying to hear me talk about me. And we'll get some scriptures and then that will be the video. So let's let this roll. It's reporting live from the trap on yesterday. A car was taken with a one-year-old inside of it in St. Bernard Parish. The child was later recovered in New Orleans on the side of an overpass. Not in a car seat. The perpetrator literally took the child out the car and put them on the side of the road. Who? The FBI is opening up an investigation on the Catholic priests in New Orleans. They're trying to determine if they took young children across state lines to molest them. It's one thing my mother told me years ago. She was a history buff. She said, honey, the crowd bosses in the mafia don't have anything on the Vatican and the Catholic Church. Exactly. That, that's that unclean frog. And people love to try and say that the Vatican is Babylon the Great, but that just simply does not line up with prophecy um, the Vatican and that in the in the the religious arm of this decadent and disgusting society uh, is that 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 unclean frog right or the or you can equate it to the false prophet also on yesterday another woman was shot on I-10 going westbound at the Carrollton and Tulane exit, right before the Carrollton and Tulane exit, the mayor is still saying that we are on the road uh, in terms of we are on the right track in terms of crime. Um, the police officers are still leaving the force and we are literally living in hell. And, and I, I found it interesting that she said that, that we are literally living in hell. And those of us with eyes to see and ears to hear understand why we are living in hell. Right. So. Let's get Ezekiel 12, verse 2. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. And that is why we are in the position we are in. And as you can see, the, the lady, uh, uh, she said that the police are, 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 are not what is it, retiring or quitting and leaving the force. That is a pandemic in itself. Because that is something that's going on all over the the the, uh, the through Babylon the Great, uh, and not to mention, I saw an article. I can no longer find it, but now you have a better chance of getting away with murder here. It has moved up in the last two years to a fifty-fifty chance of getting away with murder. All right, so you can see that this place is slowly. But also quickly descending into a, a, a chaotic shithole, a, a, as uh, DJ Trump would say, uh, a shithole country. But the way Babylon has turned these other countries into, quote unquote, SHIT holes, that is what is going to be done unto this place before it is rendered utterly destroyed or utterly, uh, you know, demolished or burned up however you want to put it and i'm going to pair ezekiel 12 and 2 wait can i read three what we got in three therefore son of man prepare thee stuff for removing and remove by day their sight and thou shalt remove from thy place and another place and there's okay now so yeah we just wanted to and then i want to pair that because through all of this and some of our people can even though they don't have they they don't have the full truth, they can see that something is just off, right? And it, <laughs> they can see some things, but they just cannot understand. They will not hear. They will not 
ac- or I guess you can use the term acquiesce, you know. Anyway, let's go to uh, Baruch 4 and 6. I want to pair that with Ezekiel 12 and 2. Um, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved Yahweh to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. All right, for ye provoked, provoked, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh And that is what our people still continue to do. And they will, they're going to do it up until the time that they are destroyed. They will see that something's wrong or you will try to tell them like, hey, this is why. And then, oh, you know, it makes sense. And then the very next day you see him, this bastard uh, is, is doing the exact same thing he was doing before. Right, and that can only be this this drunken stupor. And when I say drunken, I mean that wine, that philosophy that that is passed unto our people through the um uh uh through uh how do I wanna say it? Through the through through the vibration of E that can only be given by the spirit of the Lord like that, that the Lord had to send that blindness because nobody is this damn dumb. It makes zero sense that anybody is this stupid. But the scriptures do say that, you know, our people are sottish. I forgot how to spell that. Is it two D's? The ox knoweth his owner. I probably ain't go ahead. Yes, Isaiah 1 and 3. Uh, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people does not consider. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, and that's just continuous sin on top of sin on top of sin. Um, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. And to go backwards is like a dog returning to his vomit. Right? You And that's especially with our people. They hear something and they fall, right? They, they hear the, not something. They hear the truth and they go right back into their rebellious way. Or they go right back into uh, Christianity or right back into whatever... Uh, uh, the lifestyle that they were in and those that never heard the truth this scripture also applies but it made me think about a dog returning to his vomit when they go gone away backwards because at one point we knew what we had to do as a nation and we we fell away completely our fault completely uh, uh, broke the contract completely broke the covenant and now look at the state that we're in but the beauty is that there's a remnant and I pray that, you know, you and I, whoever's listening, we are of that and we are returning unto the Lord because without that, you know, there's, you know, we, we die right here um, on the, the sacrificial altar that is Babylon the Great that will be set ablaze. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I really wanted to get. So bear in mind, just think if. These police are retiring and, and leaving the force and, you know, people are able to get away with all sorts of wickedness and you can watch and see and think about the collapse of a society. I want you to really consider what else is going to happen. What are the things that are entailed when a society collapses, especially one as this one, when people are not used to not eating every five minutes or not used to doing whatever it is that they want to do or getting whatever it is that they want to get any point in time at any time of the day. When those luxuries are lost, think about how people are going to act. Think about how your now your say, especially these women, how your safety is no longer guaranteed. And the plagues that the Lord is going to put on this place. Now, all right, you y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. So we're just repent. All right, while you have the chance, while you have the 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 this fake freedom, repent now. Turn return unto the Lord. 
Do your best to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Do what's pleasing. Don't do what's not pleasing. Be humble. Be circumspect. Pay attention to the things that go on around you. Shalom.